Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Fossbound Kingdom. Last time, we defeated some random marshals. Today, we're going to help the leader of a village in reversal. Let's go. And I have to bring everybody along here for what's going to be a quick map. You'll see why. If you harm even one hair on the heads of these people, you'll regret it. Yeah, she's the leader of the village. Hey, isn't that Taya? Really? Oh no, Ishtai's forces are almost on top of her. Alright, so yeah, Taya's team cannot get wiped out. So this is essentially... Yeah, why is like every time you encounter like Taya, she's about to get like decimated? <laughs> oh well. So yeah, and Joey's forces have to free Vrausa. So, let's... Go, hurry up, um, do, 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 Taya, come on to Craw Valley. All right. And her team is super fast, so we'll be good here. Oh no, Bazon was taken by the Liberty, by the Liberty, by the enemy, <laughs> whatever shall I do? Where did Liberty come from? I don't know. Liberty Mutual Bank? That's not even my bank. Whatever. So in Craw Valley, we can purchase Red Medicine, Goblet Secret Remedy, and Monster Reborn. How many... Okay, uh, there must be a lot of enemy marshals. I thought this was gonna be a quick map. Apparently, I was wrong. Thank you for making a liar out of me, game. So, okay, we'll just... Yeah, we'll send Giselle right there. Malaria, I swear to God, if you get stuck again. And then Tristan can go right there. My time is now can go right there. We can buy the barricade and put it right there. Is Tane's team gonna be good to take on one? Yeah, she should be fine to take on like one team at least. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, once no, two are staying there. Three are staying there. One, two, three, four. We'll figure something out. Anyway, first team up. We fought this exact team on a previous map. The exact same team. And, oh, okay, well, you still got Hinatama. And the do, do, and uh, right. Okay, and as for my team, well, we have no items. Actually, I probably should have thought this one through. Oh boy. Okay, well, well, what well, we got? We got Tidal Wave. That's good. We got Crystal Shards. Inflict oh, that's actually really good. And Fanaticism. That's excellent. And Rogue Doll is just Rogue Doll. Alrighty then. Hit him with that glaring chaos. Why not? I really thought this was gonna be a quick one. I'm a little disappointed by that, but man, whatever. What's with all these monsters here? Like just all the different teams. That, it's not necessary for a map with two other villages. Like three villages total. How, how much did that raise everything by? Eh, it could be better, could be better. So let's hit him with a tidal wave. Aqua Medor was like that one card everybody has. Okay, that did like laughable damage. I'm pretty disappointed. Like, just no. And I am gonna have to be a little careful here. Like, this team doesn't even have healing items. <laughs> Do I do another fanaticism or do I just take out some? Oh, we'll take out some of the skull. I hope this will be enough to take out some of the skull, actually. Yes, it was. Alright, so yeah, Taya's team is in good standing here, even if I can't heal Rogue Doll. 
Why not? <laughs> this is a waste of time, Tidal Wave. Oh my god. For an attack that looks so cool, it does so little. So I could do another Fanaticism, but I don't think Rogue Doll is going to make it. So we'll try to take out this uh, dude right here real quick. Let's see how much aqua pressure would have done. <laughs> Essentially the same amount. Yeah, they do not like the rogue doll. Oh, you chose to guard? Okay. At least rogue doll will get some level ups off of this. Um, so I'll just wait. Is do I have enough to just pierce your defense? I really do, but that eh, rogue doll is gonna go out. Might as well go out fighting. Oh. He is actually going to beat them. Unless I miss. You did not attack. Oh, no, you did. Okay. Wow, that turn was like really like subtle. Or at least from where I'm sitting, it looks subtle. All right. Well, hey, we won, and Rogue Doll is at least going to get some experience off of that. Alright, let's send somebody back in to uh, take on the next team. My, you're up. Well, Taya has healer, so I, I don't really have to worry about building a healer here. Oh god, this freaking team. Um, no. No, G Giselle's gonna have to take them out. I'm, I'm so sorry, Mai. You can take on the next team, but no, th this annoying ass team right here, that is gonna have to be uh, Giselle. So I guess this team is gonna be like Joey's campaign's greatest hits. I mean, not this team, but I mean, all the enemies on this map, just teams we fought before. They figure, you know what? Let's bring them back in pog form. One always survives. Well, I just assume they would have the same item uh, load out here. But I mean, if the first team did, why not this team? Final Flame, though. Yeah, they do. Okay, wow. Yeah, even the same equipment. This. They really stopped giving a damn when they did this chapter, huh? <laughs> They're just like, whatever. We already did 20 plus maps for this game. I don't care anymore. Let's just throw whatever at them. I mean, there's more monsters and other, like, teams and strategies they could have thrown at you, but no. Okay, Mai can take on this team now. Oh my god, this is team power of nature, isn't it? Well, well no, if this is Joey's campaign's greatest hits, they're gonna have no items. Jesus, help me. This is going to be rough. Okay, um, so yeah, we, we dealing with Team Power of Nature here. I am, uh, I am frightened. I am very frightened. This is, ooh, boy, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough.
but I have a polarization, well, two of them on dock, so, uh, we, we might be able to swing this, but, ah, man, this is gonna be tough. Okay, so what am I dealing with now? All right, that, that's a little scary. That is a little scary. But they essentially have, like, infinite power. <laughs> okay. Well, no, this is the scariest thing you can have me face in this game. Just team power of nature. Okay, that, that's doing quite a bit. But Orion is down. So now their infinite power is, is just a little more finite. But I'm still a little worried. But we're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. Here's hoping they don't continue to stack more uh, pawns. That's how I'm shortening it now. Power of Nature, P O N, pawn, if you will. Do do do. Yeah, they're not really spamming them. I, I mean, I'm not complaining. Like, not at all. Ah, shoot. They heard me talking. They were like, you know what? He's right. We haven't been using nearly enough of these. And then they just rub it in like, yeah, it affects their team, but not you. Wait, if I had spirit monsters, would it actually work for me? Like, cause... It just says all spirit monsters. So that works regardless of team? So it's just like Pumpkin's special ability then. That's... Kind of bad, actually. Oh, well, I'm not complaining. If it's working out for me. I might not even have to polymerize for this. Cool. Save them just in case I have to have my, uh, go on the offensive somewhere else. Oh, Kanan, put in that work, queen. Okay. Yeah, this was surprisingly easy. Because usually Team Power of Nature is, uh, like, a really bad fight. <laughs> oh, well, it all worked out in the end. There we go. All right, up next. Oh, no other team that's coming at him. Well, looks like I'll just send Tristan over to a uh, Bazon then, where we can purchase Raime, Hinotama, and Dark Energy. Items I will probably just skip over. Well, Raime is good. Okay, so they have no items. That's beneficial for me. Fairy's Gift, though, is going to be annoying. And then the two confuse enemies. It is what it is. And turn over Tornado. Okay. So, let's deal with this annoying mess. Oh, you're normal attacking. Right now. Okay, I might actually be able to take you out. Oh, wait. Duh, Barrel Dragon. Um, Yeah, I can just confuse you. Duh. Yeah, 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 do your little hack attack. Frickin' hack! Come on, please hurry up. Alright, so I'm gonna have to be on my P's and Q's here because my fairy's gift can't heal. But now, neither can theirs. Probably gonna have Barrel Dragon attack Hain Hain next. Oh my god. If he can live, 
to attack again. So, um... Okay, I did not put a uh, Goblin Seeker Remedy on anybody on this team. Houston, we have a problem. We are screwed. Oh well. Do I attack? Or do I heal? By healing, I'm only giving one monster a little more time. But by attack, fine. That way, at least I'm guaranteed another attack as opposed to like having two monsters potentially die on me. So I guess Queen of Autumn Leaves is my next priority. I'm not worried about Hain Hain because even that turn over, the turn over tornado won't be doing a lot of damage. This is just lame though. And here I was hoping Malaria would be able to pull through and actually like get some work done on this map. Oh well. Yeah, it's not looking like I'll be able to take out Queen of Autumn Leaves. Hmm. Yeah, it's not looking likely this team will be able to pull through. I mean, Fairy's Gift is going to survive, but this could have gone a lot better. Wait, no, no, actually, no, they wiped out Malaria. Well, dang. And that confusion screwed me over. Oh, well, unless you're about to get a Hail Mary critical hit, Fairy's Gift? Was that the gift you were preaching up? No, okay. What? Huh? Um. This AI has issues. like pretty bad issues I don't know how to comprehend what I just okay well we're done now <laughs> crap I thought what no oh, I could have did the healing thing and you suck oh, what Oh my god, I got that Yugi luck. That Yugi BS, that heart of the cards. Oh my god. This should not have happened. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I have no words. This is this is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. <laughs> I love it, Maggle. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm. I should not. Th th this should not. This should not. Th this just should not. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to win. 
Malaria is going to wipe out this team. It's kind of hilarious. Because, yeah, oh, alright, I lost, but... Fairy's Gift is a little more powerful than you, Hain Hain. And I can heal. So, um... <laughs> you're, you're done. You are, in fact, done. Prepare yourself for ultimate... Dalishan. Just hurry up. You're about to get wrecked, fam. So this is probably the most ridiculous battle of the game, but uh, hey, it all worked out. Good job, Malaria. And I guess we can just send Giselle to wipe out a team too. And then uh, Joey can go too. So now we wait for the forces to arrive there. Okay, uh, Harpy Lady is about to just overtake everything <laughs> right now. There are three teams just chilling out here, right? Yep, one. Uh... Okay, one we already fought, and I hope you're the final one in, so Harpy Lady can just take you out. This is going to be an annoying one. And that's one we already fought. Are you just working with a team that's just weaker than everybody else? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Giselle, please take them out. Usually it's always one. Today, it was none. Well, none that died. Usually it's one that survived. That sounded a lot better in my head before I actually spoke. All right, so that's a done deal. We'll move him out the way so everybody else can get in on this. So move up there, Giselle, why not? No, Joey hasn't overtaken Tristan, that's good. All right, Tristan, do not let me down. You have a perfectly ultimate Great Moth, Marshall. I got a perfectly... Why is your perfectly ultimate Great Moth? No. You will not be superior to mine. Mine has 6,410 attack. Yours? Yeah. You may have more HP, but you're still inferior. You're not even perfectly ultimate. You're just perfectly... Normal. Then we got Larva Moth right there, because why not? Zombie Energy Infusion. Give all dark monsters a power-up. You don't really have the team for that to be most effective. What's Cocoon String even do? Oh, Poison. So why is Larva Moth able to have Poison on his normal attack, but not perfectly Ultimate Great Moth? It would've been so much better if somehow Ultimate Hurricane would be able to poison enemies, and then Phosphorus Poison was Phosphorus Paralysis. Ooh. Then that would've made like perfectly Ultimate Great Moth like top Freaking tier, yo. Oh, yeah, who's their strong? Oh, yeah, it's, it's obviously gonna be perfectly ultimate. <laughs> I'm like, like, let me check the attack of each of these monsters. Who's gonna be the biggest threat? <laughs> like, I don't already know who it is. It's 
So, I mean, this is a new team, but at the same time, I don't really want to commentate through this because there's no strategy involved. I'm just going to pile on my attacks on their Pug'em. And it's just, like, going to go from there. They, There's really nothing they can do other than just poison me. And I can poison them right back. Not to mention, Monster Tamer is there just increasing the power of everybody tremendously. But I got nothing better to do, so I guess I'll just continue to talk through this. Could check Twitter. But I've actually been mass recording uh, this for... Um... About two hours now. Like, we're, we're coming up on the two-hour mark pretty soon. So that's two hours of tweets to catch up on. Man, like, last night was ridiculous, though. Yeah, I'm dating when I'm, like... Well, yeah, I'm dating, like, the record date for this. But, uh... Yeah, last night, Drake decided he was going to start streaming on Twitch. And he was playing Fortnite with Ninja. And then, out of nowhere, Travis Scott just joined in. If you're not familiar with the rap scene, none of this even makes sense to you. Like, Drake? You mean Drake Bell from Drake and Josh? No, I'm talking about the softest rapper in the world, Drake. And then Travis Scott, who I didn't even know was, like, still trying to be relevant. Okay. It would have been amazing if he just showed up with auto-tune on his, like, headset. And they tried to get a little Yachty in it. It was just madness and insanity and... 600,000 viewers were watching that stream. I know Fortnite was very grateful for all that publicity. <laughs> like, there's probably people who don't even play games just like, ooh, I want that game because Drake was playing it. But it is what it is. Okay, they're perfectly on the Great Moth is down. I could just do this just to be funny, and, um, why not? I like to laugh. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Their destruction is imminent. Yeah, nothing's really going on here. Uh, oh, man, two hours of tweets to catch up on. Uh, I guess. And Geralt is going to be in Soul Calibur 6. Geralt from freaking Witcher. Like, why? Oh, crap. Um, Monster Tamer's dead. <laughs> okay. It doesn't really matter. I, I can revive him if I really want to. I guess I will. Uh, fine. All right. Let's target you. Alrighty. Yeah, I guess I will just start skimming through Twitter real quick. Yeah, Raid right, the Tomb. Tomb Raider uh, is free to play on Twitch. That's cool. Yeah. He's giving you all the news that you probably, like, have already seen by the time this video goes up. See, Arby's got some Tomb Raider art. Like, the, the paper craft they do is just utterly ridiculous. I love it. Uh, let's see, what, what what's going on here? Do I have to heal anybody? No, they're just still attacking. Okay. Hmm. Wow, I don't know how to process this. This one artist who does quite a few, like, lootish art pieces has actually just posted something that's safe for work like completely safe for work it's just what looks like a team rocket grunt i'm i'm stunned okay well time to destroy uh larva moth here see uh, what we do yeah not not much was really going on uh twitter in the time i've been recording this This is what I'm doing right now, as I'm just not even paying attention to what's going on in the game. Uh, the do Yeah, Twitter is pretty, uh... 
quiet, aside from a cheap ass gamer just saying like, "Oh, this Switch game is like up for pre-order," and like, "Oh, this other game is up for pre-order on Amazon." Yeah, okay. Uh, do Runner Three coming to Switch this May? I'm glad. I'm looking forward to that. We won this. That's very good. Oh yeah, I gotta move him out the way so uh, Joey can come in and fight this repeat team. And then I really don't have to talk through that. I can just like you know, still focus on catching up on Twitter. This is what I do. Th th this is what I'm doing now. Like, cause. There's really not much to say about any of this. These teams are basic. And oh, what's the worst thing they have here? Summon Skull with Hinatama. And then if push comes to shove, all I gotta do is just build a freaking healer here, heal Joey, and then go on to fight the last dude. Okay, so yeah, I essentially used like the remaining few turns of those or the remaining few turns of that battle to heal up everybody so I don't have to build a healer. And now we end this. And so we wait for Joey to get there. Huh, didn't take him as long as I expected. And we still don't get any like pre-boss dialogue, so whatever. And I've now officially caught up on the last two hours of Twitter. Now to focus on this clown. Oh, okay, so the Zargon's got red medicine. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Why do they have armor but sing into Okay, so yeah, this is gonna suck because. Wait, no, I got monsters that can confuse. Ne never mind, we're good. Yeah, because Shock Shell saves lives. Alright, so go ahead, do a little of that. Oh, well, yeah, also, uh, to further date this freaking. Why are you not confused? They have status guard, don't they? No. Okay, so I guess you just didn't get confused. We had to further date this, like, recording session. Um, today's the first day of Twitch Prime's new little, like, monthly game bundle thing. Which is sort of what, well, which is exactly what, um, whatchamacalls it. PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live and soon-to-be Nintendo's online program is doing. And I still say this is like a really good first month for uh, Twitch Prime's little foray into this. I mean, Super Hot, Oxen Free, Shadow Tactics, Mr. Shifty, really good game, by the way. And Tomb Raider. I mean, that's good. It's real good. Can't wait to download all of them at work tomorrow because my internet connection here at home is kind of bad. I think you might end up getting confused and it'll be just 
Or we could just miss, you know, there, there's that. There, there's always fun in missing. My god. Now can we actually hit him? Well, not like it matters, I mean, unless he gets a, like, sneak attack in, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, um, goodbye Zaragun, maybe, hopefully. But well, you do have armor, you might survive this. Yeah, okay, just barely, but now you're done. And now somebody is tweeting, yeah, I'm still checking Twitter, big whoop. Yeah, somebody's tweeting out, boy, I can't wait to hear all the FGC dudes mispronouncing Geralt's name in the coming months. So by me saying Geralt, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. Not gonna lie, I have never touched a Witcher game. I don't know, that style of RPG just doesn't really suit me. Like I've never played a Fallout despite owning, actually I think I now own two of them. <laughs> uh, I never played an Elder Scrolls game. Never played Witcher. Um, I tried to play a little bit of, like, Knights of the Old Republic, but I just couldn't get into it. I don't know, maybe I would end up liking Fallout. I see a lot of people recommend that. Even people I don't think would, like, would really be into those games. I'll give them a shot one day. I mean, I do have New Vegas. I just need to install it and, like, just play it. Anyway, woo, you managed to fight them off. Thanks! So the Black Dragon Squad is you guys, huh? Heh <laughs> yep. Surprised? Believed. It looks like you haven't run into Yuki yet either. Where could he be? I don't know, but we figure if we keep fighting, our paths will cross eventually. Boss, I've got bad news. Merrick's headed this way with a huge army. It's even bigger than the last one. We better get out of here. What? Listen up, everyone. We're out of here. Wait a minute, Joey. I've got an idea. Seriously, like, this is all supposed to happen, like, before they meet up with Yugi and his campaign, and before the very first mission of Kaiba's campaign, and Kaiba and Yugi's campaign run parallel to each other, so did freaking months pass with Joey doing his own thing while Kaiba and Yugi were in a coma? I, I don't know. Anyway, master plan. That's not a Pokemon attack. With Taya and her people safe from Merrick, Joey and friends decide to try and turn the tables on the Empire. The enraged Merrick has been driving his troops hard. So hard that much of his army has fallen behind. I am 12 years old. Since an opportunity, Joey plans to strike at Merrick from behind, cutting him off from the rest of his army. The only problem is that they must defeat Merrick and get him isolated from his army before the rest of it shows up. Now I wish this chapter would have been called Nasty Plot. That would have been amazing. Also only four monsters, huh? Or, not four monsters, four marshals. <laughs> well, let me uh, make Taya's team a little bit better. Yeah, we'll stick with this team. Then next map, if there's a cap like this, I'll bring along Taya and Tristan. But yeah, just to show you what I did for Taya's team, everybody has two books of secret arts, and then Red Medicine, Monster Reborn, and Blue Medicine. So yeah, I think that'll work out well for her team. So um, uh, yeah, we're done here, and I still would have just loved it if this next one would have just been called Nasty Plot. That's almost the same as, you know, Master Plan, just almost. And then as I continue to look at the, like, item or shopping list, like, the mission after that is called Imposter. That could have been called Substitute. And then the one after that, Invincible Imperial Guard. Okay, that one... I don't think there's a Pokemon equivalent for that. Harden? Maybe? Nah. So anyway, we're done here. Next time.
master plan. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom. Goodbye.